A few days ago, we talked about offers and I promised you that I would walk you through the process of how the offer turns into a checkout page. In this video, I'm gonna show you on Kajabi how this process works and a few things that you have to get right about your checkout page to make sure that it converts well. For that, stick around. This is video 38 of Crush It on Kajabi in 90 days. We're doing 90 straight days of videos all about your online business and how to start it, build it, and grow it on the best platform there is for online business, which is Kajabi. I've said this so many times, I can say it so fast. <laughs> anyway. If you want to try out Kajabi, use my link at lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. When you do that, you get a 30 day free trial. You can't even get that at kajabi.com. You only get that through my link, which is my gift to you. You also get the $25,000 course launch email template. These are the exact emails and the exact email strategy that I used to launch my first course, which made over $25,000 in its first three launches. And you're gonna get a 45 minute Zoom call with me where we're gonna talk about your business, we're gonna talk about Kajabi, and we're gonna talk about how to get the best possible start on the platform. Those calls are some of the most fun I have all week. I get to meet all kinds of people that are doing all kinds of cool stuff on Kajabi, and I would love to give that to you as a way to say thank you for using my link which is an affiliate link, so when you use it, I do get a small commission. So lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. If you're gonna try out Kajabi anyway, you might as well use my link because you get more time when you do. Okay, so this is the offer page that we started out on a few days. If you haven't watched my video from a few days ago about offers, you can see how all these settings get on here, how I have an upsell, all of these things, the automations, we went through all that. But what I wanna do is go to this little button right here which says edit checkout. And what this is simply is the end result or the end experience for the user when they land on this page. So if we were to preview this page, it looks like this to the end user. So I wanna go through a few kind of ways this is set up and a few things that are very intentional about this page. The first is that you'll see that it's a very simple design. There's nowhere for you to click away. You can't click over to a menu. I mean, you can click back, but you can't click out of it without taking action in some way. In other words, I want the only thing people do is to buy my course. That's why they got on this page. If you think about it, getting to this page They've gone through this process. Let me walk you through the exact process that they've gone through. They've started out <clears throat> on this page right here. This is my sales page for Killer Sermons Academy. They've looked through all this. They've said, hey, this is cool. I think I might wanna buy this. Oh, it's got all these things. Isn't this great? Isn't this nice? And they've gotten all the way to the bottom and they've said, all right, that sounds good. I'm gonna add it to the cart. And they've clicked on that page, which takes us to this checkout. Once they get this far, I don't want to distract them with anything other than just put your email address in there and your card number and let's get this thing purchased, okay? However, I am going to reiterate exactly what they're getting in the course because I also want to eliminate any sense of fear that they may not be getting what they were promised. So everything here is a list of what you see on the pricing page ahead of time. So this right here ends up back on the checkout page and that's very intentional. I just wanna reiterate, here's what you're getting. It's the platinum version <clears throat> and includes all of this. Here's the total value, here's your price today. And then I have my money back guarantee which lasts for 60 days. The thumbnail for the checkout and then these items over here. Okay, so let's get to how this is built. So this is the offer details, uh, Platinum, okay? Killer Sermons Academy Platinum, and I've got that is the title. Primary color is mine, extra contact info. So I do a little box that says, check this box if you live in Tennessee. That is because I'm in Tennessee. It has to do with state sales taxes, so I just wanna know who's buying from my state. That's why that's in there, but you can put anything you want. Address, phone number, I just like the email address and the card number. I find that to be pretty helpful. You can include a service agreement if you would like, testimonials if you want. Again, when it comes to things like testimonials, you could stick one on your checkout page. There's nothing wrong with that. 
But again, I want to eliminate anything that might distract too much away from just putting the card number in there and hitting purchase. And you can do an order bump. So let's say that I wanted to do an order bump for my mini course, because this is my flagship platinum course. And what if I said, well, you know, people might get in here and want to buy Preaching Jumpstart Basic, all right? That would be a great option for a bump. So I could put that in there, I could stick a description in there and I could hit save. And what that's gonna do is it's going to add, yes, add Preaching Jumpstart Basic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that off because I don't wanna do it for this particular order, but I could stick that in there, have a brief description, and then they would be able to add it to their order right there. So there's all kinds of things that you can do in the checkout, but again, I like to keep it very simple and always make sure that you go in and customize this page because a lot of times people make the mistake of building the offer and not checking out the checkout page. You gotta check it out and see if it's ready to go and make sure that all those things are there. If you're ready to jump on Kajabi, use my link below. Be sure to let me know in the comments what questions do you have as we're going through this series. And subscribe to this channel, because if you don't, you're not gonna be able to see these videos every day, which I know you look forward to very much. If you have more questions about Kajabi or just wanna dig in further, be sure to click right here on this playlist and I'll join you in there, because that's where I'll be. If you click on there, we'll hang out in that playlist and I'll let you know more about Kajabi. You can explore more options. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.